Next up on my freeform board, I want to add some shapes and some imagery to make it really stand out a little bit more, particularly my free subheadings. So on the top toolbar, I've got this icon with a square and a circle, and this brings up shapes, just like it does in keynote numbers and pages. From here, you can swipe along the top toolbar to filter by category, or if you go back to the beginning, you can search. I'm going to find a shopping bag for my picture, so I'm going to type in shopping, and I'm going to simply tap on that, and it will add it onto my page. Of course, I can move this around and resize it, just like you would expect. Let's add a second icon now for my sightseeing section. So I'll press that Shapes button again, and this time I'll search for camera, and when I find a camera that I like, I'll put that on my page too. Now, I don't really want these to be the standard blue shapes. In fact, I want to make it a bit more funky to match my whole theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recolor this shape. When I've tapped on that shape, I can change the fill color and the outline color. I'm going to make the fill color white, and then I'm going to make the outline pink. I can make the line a little bit thicker, just like this, and then I get a really cool stylized icon effect. Just like with our text in the previous video, if I tap onto here and press the three dots, and then go onto Style, I can copy that style, and then I can paste that onto my next shape. But there's actually a better way of doing this, particularly if you're going to add more shapes to your board in the future. So when you tap onto those three dots, and you go onto Style, this time select Save as Insert Style. That means any more shapes that you insert will automatically inherit this style that you've just chosen. So to test that theory, let's quickly get an aeroplane to put on my travel subheading. So again, I'll tap on Shapes, I'll search for Plane, and now, just like that, I've got that white with a pink outline aeroplane. This board is really coming together nicely. In the next video, we'll add some photographs, and we'll learn about masking them using shapes. Click on the link now, and I'll see you there.